Tonight, Eyewitness News is teaming up with the Providence Journal to bring you a campaign 2012 debate. Incumbent Congressman David Cicilline and key challenger Anthony Gemma will face off in the Democratic primary for the U.S. House District 1 seat. The debate comes following strong allegations by Anthony Gemma of voter fraud by the Cicilline campaign. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us now live from Rhode Island College with a preview of tonight's debate. And after our latest poll, we now know that David Cicilline has a double-digit lead, so the challenger has a lot of pressure on him tonight. Very huge Anthony Gemma needs to do more than just attack, according to our political analysts. He has to come out aggressive. He has to introduce himself to the people of Rhode Island again. Our survey showed almost half the people did not know who he was. The most recent squabble between the two candidates involved Gemma's accusations of voter fraud. Uh, you know, I think it, it was a really outrageous political stunt. So I don't know how you can listen to anything that David Sissoni says in the debate and take it as truth. The voters of Rhode Island in the first... But Fleming points to our Eyewitness News poll that shows Gemma should probably focus on Cicilline's record as mayor of Providence. First off, that'll be a good move on Anthony's part because it'll put David Cicilline on the defensive. David Cicilline will then try to do is talk about the problems that Providence faced, the tough economy at the time when he was mayor, the high unemployment, and how he did what he thought was best for the citizens of Providence. That's what Joe Fleming think, thinks about the debate. We'll find out what the candidates think in a matter of hours. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Uto, Eyewitness News. As Walt mentioned, Congressman David Cicilline and challenger Anthony Gemma will face off on the issues in less than two hours. Tonight's broadcast will be live starting at 8 p.m. right here on WPRI 12 and streaming live on WPRI.com. Now, when the debate ends, stay with WPRI.com for extended coverage until 9.30. And tonight's debate has generated high interest. It is sold out. But if you have a question for the candidates to be asked during this debate, you can still submit them by logging on to WPRI.com. Dot com.